Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. And today we're gonna boost the LS1 Camaro before it blows up completely. We're doing what now? <laughs> nah, actually we're just putting on some hood pins real quick. Just gonna go and put them right here. This is and a fiberglass then... hood. Actually, <clears throat> carbon fiber. It's fiberglass, <laughs> but it is lighter than stock. But we're gonna get these hood pins in, drill them out for up here. And then our friend Steven's gonna take us for a ride in his really cool LS1 F body. <laughs> Give him a good view. I know they oh, probably got yeah. one in the little intro and the pull up to the lock, driveway. Oh, and he went and dropped stuff already. No, the Yay. lock washer's too small. Oh, okay. Dude, I'm but, liking that paint on that strip bar. Yeah, but he's got a lot of cool upgrades that the vet doesn't have, like a strut bar even though i don't need one on the vet right but he actually has the nice ls1 heads of the 241 heads instead of the slp intake system yeah so and he's got adjustable rear suspension in the back with an adjustable pan hard bar what else are we missing over here on this steven rear give him a give him tubular, a of how wide the tire is up. tubular oh. control arm, tubular rear control arms yeah. and then the adjustable pan hard yeah that he needs to tighten up before we go out anywhere. <laughs> I remember that. But yeah, these wheels are really fat. He put them on Corvette wheels. Uh, these tires are really fat. He put them on Corvette wheels. Don't know how well you can see them, but we're about to go and throw these hood pins on real quick. Really easy, simple process. Just nut and bolt over here. He basically got it over there too. He we'll show you guys. I snapped my finger already with these fuckers. <laughs> but other than that, Oh, he almost dropped that. We'll be back in a second, guys. Ale ba. All right, Steven. What you doing over here? Evening it out so it looks flush instead of crooked as shit. Yeah, but basically just a nut down here. Don't know how well you can see that. Maybe a little bit. And then nut on top. Just tighten them. Just replaced. Where did those two little buggers go? What? Uh, well, it was just uh, the plastic. Oh, yeah. There it is. Just this plastic piece right here that goes right there to space it but he's got these ones up here and the air box too the air box might space it just a little bit you know you never know and, but those nuts should space it too i definitely just moved that from where you wanted it but other than that it's really simple and then just gotta drill a couple holes up there for them to go through put these tabs up there to protect the hood and too easy 20 30 minutes at best but we're gonna cut that down quite a bit because we want to get on the road with this. Yeah. All right, so Look. Tony's starting to drill holes and She's they're the shit out of me. But yeah. They'll all be covered up. Yeah. This is, we're going from the bottom. Yeah. We kind of have to. Oh yeah. No. Let's hold that up. So, nah, so guys, I just want to let you guys know it's uh, getting summertime and uh, we got to switch out the bang with a little bit of some body armor. It's got coconut water, good for hydrational supplements. Well, yeah. Out yeah, or just do West Virginia, Ohio Mountain Dew. <laughs> hey, I'm sorry. I said I wouldn't make fun of you. I went back on my promise. I'm a horrible person, Steven. I'm sorry. <laughs> but we're just getting these mountain plates in. But then after that, hey, it's a $14 kit <laughs> from O'Reilly's that does its purpose. When we switch it over with those rivets, it'll tighten that shit down. Yeah. Because the rivets are bigger. But yeah, just getting these plates down so we can get these through. Yeah, okay. But it's really simple. We're about to be out on the road eventually, maybe in 40 years. Who knows? We'll see. Alibaba. All right, so Steve is in there. Hood pins are done, both sides. Tony's not coming with because he's lame. But Steve. Hey, oh yeah. Don't get close. Oh uh, yeah. Tony spit shined them a little bit. But Steve's gonna start it up again. Oh wait, there's a wrench. Yep. She 
sounds good. We're going for a ride, guys. Alright, so we're just riding around in Steve's Camaro. What year is it? 02. 02, 02. So it's still Atlas 1. Auto, though. Last year. Last year that these were made. And he's got a little bit of exhaust on that. We kind of forgot that earlier. A little bit. It's <laughs> some headers, off road wide pipe, and then just a magnet flip cat back to quiet it down just a smidge. But other than that, this is for an O2. It's really clean. He's got that nice dash mat on there. Yeah, because if you ever look it up, all the uh, F bodies like to crack dashes when they take off. So underneath when they the take mom, off, yeah. When like they, launch? Yeah, when they launch, the dashes <laughs> like to crack because they're so chintzly made. You take my cover off, it's just... Wait a minute, it is? Oh. It's hard to see. We can show them when we get back. Yeah, maybe later. But we're going to get to a little bit of open space. Uh, Mexico's a couple blocks away. So we'll see you in a minute. Alright, Steve's going to try to do a burnout real quick. Just to check his adjustment on his pan hard bar. But let's see if we can go for it. But we'll be back. Keep going. Go. Go, go, go. Peace out.